Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise, and today's video is one actually about tail biting. Now, this is one of those videos that I wish I didn't even really have to make because the reason why I'm making it is because I'm experiencing tail biting in my betta fish. So, I figured I would make a video to hopefully help some of you guys out and talk to you guys about how common that tail biting really is and kind of get into um, explaining about it a little bit and just stuff like that. So, why don't we just go ahead and begin the video. So, um, let me give you a little story on why I'm actually talking about this today. So basically, my new fish count, which the video hasn't gone up yet, but by the time you're seeing this one, it would have went up. My new fish count is a major tail biter. Um, he has almost torn off all of his top fin, and his back one and the one underneath especially too is insurance. And it is so frustrating, you guys. Like, And I know if you guys have experienced it, then I'm sure you're very frustrated too, or you have been at the time that it happened. But like I said, it's very frustrating, but it is also very common. Um, and basically, they do this when they're stressed or like mad. So that's like basically the top two reasons. Um, a lot of times, it's just because it's almost like a nervousness, like almost a nervous. You know how basically people like kind of bite their nails when they're nervous, or they do those little things like bounce their knee, which that's something that I do. I bounce my knee. I'm sitting here trying to do it, and you guys can't even see. But there are a lot of things that people do when they're nervous and that's kind of like what betas do um or stress whatever <laughs> anything along those lines um and a lot of what causes it is say if they see their reflection now some tanks they can be shaped where they see their reflection because i have experienced that before um with no tail biting but they would just flare a lot um and then also another thing and this is the reason why count has been biting his is because of a background so yeah I have a black background on my 10 gallon tank and as soon as I put count in he went straight to the back of the tank to the background and just started flaring up a storm um, and I did actually put that in my other video about how he was flaring and that I was gonna have to remove the background so yeah that's what he was doing and I have had other cases too of people telling me this and also my friend she's experienced this with all of her fish um, she always tries to put the background on she'll literally put it on for maybe an hour just to see if all of them are going to do it, and most all of them do, so I was really stressed about it, I took the background off the next morning, I turned on my light and noticed that most of his fins were gone, he must have been very busy, now, just because that's what people seem to do to me for no reason, people seem to always give some hate on my channel about things, saying that I'm doing things wrong, when, like I've said before, everybody has their own way of doing things, and I know I'm a good fish keeper, so it is not because my tank is divided. He has not went over to where Rupert is. The divider is completely black. You can't see. Um, he's not went back there. He's literally specifically stayed to the back of the tank, and by the way, my loach is being so cute right now. Let me see if I can show you guys. Do you see him? gummit. I don't know if you guys can see, but he literally popped out of the hole of my little branch. That was so cute, though. Like, I literally just looked over, and he popped out, and I'm like, hello, Mr. Loach, which I named Fonzie. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, he tore up all of his fins, pretty much, and so I immediately removed him. And just because I had somewhere to be, I put him in, like, a quarantine bowl, which I do for my others, and just let him stay. And then I took, you know, the background off. I let him stay for about a night. He does fine in the dang quarantine bowl. He's perfectly fine. So I thought, after I take the background off, like, he'll be fine. I put him back in there, and he went right back to that area where the background was, even though it's not there anymore. And he started to flare. So, I don't know if he just, of course, remembers it and he just, he has, like, bad thoughts about it. I don't know. But I'm actually going to have to rearrange tanks now and switch my fish out. So, I've been deciding now and I think that I will be putting Enzo in my 10 gallon and putting count where Enzo is because he's a flare and a biter. So, he's obviously a very nervous fish. But basically, 
this video, part of it of what I'm trying to do is I'm really wanting to spread that tail biting is really normal. For, for the most part, I'm pretty sure it is nothing that you guys are doing wrong. It is all about your fish because each fish does have a different personality. But if you do have a background up and you see them flaring around it, just definitely take it down. Um, because that is one bad case. And with treatments, which I'm going to be doing, treat your fish probably with like Melafix, Mila, Mela, however you pronounce it. That is a good one for fin regrowth. And my friend has a dragon scale who is a constantly a tail biter. He is the worst one of hers that bites his tail. And the, her dragon scale tends to grow back his tail faster. So I don't know if that's just a dragon scale thing, but it normally does happen. So... What I would basically do is treat with Malefix. Hopefully it will grow back pretty fast. Do aquarium salt and frequent water changes. So just once again, I would do Malefix, salt, and frequent water changes. Um, and then hopefully in time, of course, their fins will grow back. But I know, especially on Snapchat, which if you don't have me, add me. It's Anna Louise 20 for updates of me and my fish and other animals. But I've had a lot of people ask me about the fin biting and... Sometimes they won't know, and they'll just send pictures like with shreds and stuff, and I'm like, that's what it is. They're either completely shredding them on something in their tank, or it's biting. Um, because if it's fin rot, you could pretty much tell because there will be some brown spots. But if your fish is biting and it gets to be bad, it can turn into fin rot. So just look for brown parts on the fins that basically is an indicator that it could be leading to fin rot. So yeah, that's basically, I kind of want to update you guys about it. Um, and I'm going to show you some pictures now of Count with his fins all messed up. So, right here. So, as you can see, his fins are really bad, and it's really frustrating me a lot because he's so beautiful. I mean, all my fish are, and it, it just hurts to see him like that. And <sighs> this is my first time experiencing the tail biting situation, so I'm just going to be going through with it and seeing how things go and just I really hope that I did help someone in this video maybe to just kind of ease their mind um, or give them tips on how to treat it or look out for signs on why they yours may be tail biting but I really hope this helped um, if you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe which you can do by hitting my face right here and you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right here. And it would mean the world to me if you guys would do so. And I thank you very much. And I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this. And I'll see you guys in my next video.